Hello, I'm back. I would like to show you further on um, the uh, front panel, the LED traffic light controller. Now, uh, I've actually uh, resized the three LEDs to be slightly smaller. Okay, you can always do that by just navigating your mouse to the LED and then just uh, dragging the LED to your appropriate size. Now maybe what we can do is that uh, we want to put these three LEDs on a, a, a so-called a lamp pose, uh, if a pose, okay, which is dark in color. Right, so what you can do is quite pretty simple. You uh, right-click on the control palette, right-click on your mouse, okay, pull out the control palette, uh, call this thing the decoration. The de there's a decoration palette, as you can see over here. Now look for this thing called the uh, recess box. Okay, you see this word called the recess box. Yeah, okay, it's at the first row, the last column there. So I'm going to call this uh, I'm, uh, recess box, go back to my decoration. Okay, recess box, huh? this one over here. Okay, let's, let's drag a recess box on my front panel over here. And uh, I'm going to use the colors palette here. I'm going to put it to black. Okay, so I've got this paint brush here. Okay, I'm going to just paint the black color over it. I'm going to select the appropriate colors, huh? not amber. Okay, I'm going to put it black as shown over here. So now I'm going to use my positioning tool. I'm going to move this uh, black rectangle box to enclose the three LEDs as shown over here. So uh, now what so what happened to the LED? So now the three LEDs are at the behind this rectangle box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool called the uh, reorder tool over there. You can see there reorder. So I'm going to send this uh, rectangle box to the back. I'm going to move it to the back. Okay, move to the back. Or the shortcut key could be Control Shift plus J. Send it to the back as shown over here. Yes. So uh, I have completed the design of the uh, front panel for this uh, traffic light controller. And of course, if you like, you can always add another pole to this uh, traffic light. Okay, to make it really realistic. Alright, there's something optional. So I'm going to pause my recording for the time being. Then we will switch over in the next video. We are going to switch over to the block diagram where we do some programming.